So this is the documentation for AWS for uh, savings plan. So here you have an option or the tab here for pricing. So you can click on this and here you will find all the details for all the plans that they have like for computational saving plans for Amazon EC2, for Fargate, for AWS Lambda and EC2 instance saving plan as well. So here, as you can see, it has been mentioned here like compute saving plans apply to EC2 instance usage regardless of instance family, size, AZ, AWS region, OS or tenancy. So you can choose the computational saving plan here. So for the term of either one or three years. And if you want to have any uh, payment option that you want to choose that you can choose here, like you have no upfront cost, partial upfront cost or all upfront. If you want to pay everything at once at the start itself, you can pay it using all upfront. If you want to pay half of that, you can pay it using partial upfront. And if you don't want to pay anything and you just want to go with monthly uh, payment options, then you can go for no upfront. Okay. And you can select one of the regions here. So if suppose I select the region that I am in, so Asia Pacific Mumbai, then you can choose between like what is the type of operating system you have like operating system, let's suppose I choose Windows and the tenancy is either shared or dedicated host or instance. So let's suppose I keep it at shared. Now you will get all the discounts that you have or like on the savings on the on-demand instance that you are going to get. So you get 15% on 33.nano and if you go to the end itself like to the 10th part so the highest amount of difference that you're going to get is for the larger instances so you get 32 percent of savings on on demand so if you say d2.8x large the saving plans rate is 5.65 where on demand rate is 8.268 on uh, the region that you have asia pacific mumbai and if you tell that i am going to use it for uh, one year a term length then they are going to give you a saving percentage of 32 percent okay and again you have the compute saving plans for aws fargate so if you are not aware of what is aws fargate so basically aws fargate is a serverless compute engine for containers that work with both aws elastic container service that is called as ecs or elastic Kubernetes service okay or EKS okay so this is Fargate is basically your computational engine for these two ECS and EKS so here as well if you're trying to use AWS Fargate you can make the selection of the term size that you have like one year and you can choose the region and you will get more discounts based on the on-demand prices that you have like over 20 percent over on-demand per GB per hour and or per vCPUs per hour. So this is the type of savings that you're going to get with AWS Fargate. And here as well, like AWS Lambda. So AWS Lambda works on requests and durations, isn't it? And the same goes for compute plans for AWS Lambda. So if I have a term length of one year and payment option that I have for all upfront and the region that I'm going to choose is Asia Pacific Mumbai, then I'm going to get uh, for the duration I'm going to get per GB per second, I'm going to get 17% over the on-demand rates. For 1 million requests, it's not that much. There is no savings at all. But if you see for free tier, it obviously gives 1 million requests as free. So, okay, the same goes for the provision concurrency and the duration of provision concurrency. So both of them, you get 17% savings over the on-demand. And for EC2 instance saving plan, Okay, so here there are a lot of things that you have to choose like the term length is one year. You can have no upfront or partial upfront. I'll go with partial upfront here. As I already told you, EC2 instance saving plan applies to EC2 usage on a specific instance family in a specific AWS region, regardless of AZ size, OS or tenancy. So you have to choose the instance family that you want. Maybe it may be like M3 or I3 or anything. Okay, so you have to choose now from let's suppose i choose m5 and ohio east or no i'll choose my region itself so it will be around asia pacific so here i am going to choose windows so here it gives me 21 percent savings over on demand because the on demand rate is 0 0.193 and the saving plans actually give me the rate of 0 0.153 okay so even if i switch from m5 large to m5 dot metal also i will get the similar kind of savings okay I don't have to worry about that. So these are kind of the saving plans that you get. So you can come here and you can as well see and define the requirements that you have and you can get the saving prices. And we will go to the AWS console now to check out how it exactly works there. So let's go there and see that. 
Okay, to sign into the console and to use AWS Cost Explorer, you either need to be a root user or else you need to have an IAM user that has permissions to access your AWS Cost Explorer service. Okay, so here it actually automatically opened it for me because I tried to re-log in. But you can go to the services and type AWS Cost Explorer and you can get the option here as well where you can right click on this one and open the same. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like how you can create your saving plan, but I'm not going to create it because it is going to cost a hell lot of money for me because we are running on the free tier one. So we are free people and we are cheap people. So we will do only the demo here. Okay. So here you have all the options where the cost explorer reports, budgets and anomaly detection like this in the beta stage that you have. We have the recommendations as well, but here is the one that you are going to be focused on. So savings plan. So if you want to create a savings plan, then you have to just click on purchase savings plan. Okay. So once you click on purchase saving plan, you will be getting a form here. So where it actually tells you like what are the different saving plans that we have. So the first one is compute saving plans applies to EC2 usage, AWS Fargate or AWS Lambda service usage regardless of region, instance, family size, tenancy and operating system. The second one that we have here is EC2 instance saving plan. So let's suppose for let's suppose for an example, I am going to go with compute saving plan. Then the option next option that I have is I have to choose what is the term that I want to set like whether it is going to be one year or that is going to be three years. Okay, so for now, let us go with one year plan. So I'm going to tell AWS that I'm going to go for a one year term and I'm going to have a purchase commitment of around $2 per hour and I will pay partial upfront. Okay, so the partial upfront payment is $8,760 if I'm saying that per hour my commitment of usage of the compute saving plan is going to be $2. Okay. And you can give the start date but it is an optional thing that you have here you will get the purchase plan payment details so the total upfront cost that you have is 8760 because it is partial upfront then monthly payment that you have to pay is 730 dollars the total cost is around 17520 for one year okay and let's suppose i do it for no upfront then the cost again changes like i have to pay a monthly charge of 14 hundred and sixty dollars and the total cost actually remains the same and for all upfront also you can pay the upfront cost like seventeen thousand five hundred and twenty and you don't have to pay anything monthly for a year okay so let's suppose i choose three years for the same option like half then the partial upfront cost will be twenty six thousand two hundred and eighty monthly i have to pay 730 and so the total cost will be fifty two thousand five hundred and sixty dollars okay so now let's suppose you make it one dollar one dollar then one year partial upfront it is around 365 dollars so for an individual these prices may be very high but for the organizations based on the money they actually uh, make on the budgeting capabilities that they have this may not be that much okay so don't worry about that these prices are very high because if you have to pay like if i have to pay 8760 dollars if you see the earning capabilities of mine on YouTube, you can easily judge that I might be making one or two dollars per video. So I can't even afford a single on demand instance. And that's on a serious note. Okay, so let's move on. So the second option that we have here is EC2 instance saving plan. So in this actually it applies to instance usage within the committed EC2 family and region regardless of size, tenancy and operating system. So the term size I am going to choose is one year and uh, you have to choose the region because it is regardless of size, tenancy and operating system, but not the region. Okay. So you have to choose the region here. So I'll choose my region, Asia Pacific, Mumbai. And here I have to choose the instance family. So we will choose one of the basic instance families like C5 and the purchase commitment that we are going to have is $1 per hour based on our status. And the payment option that we have here is like partial upfront. And that comes around 4,380. Uh, I will take that back. That is not even our status. So uh, the next thing that we have to do is nothing. We have to just see how much upfront cost that we are going to get here. So 4,380 is the upfront cost that we are going to pay. And monthly we will be charged for around 365. And total cost is 8,760. So with this, you can actually change between any of the instances that you have in that instance family, regardless of the size, tenancy or operating system that you have. 
so you can play around with that but the biggest advantage is you're using the savings plan and you don't have to worry about the prices at all so it will cover within your savings plan itself okay so i hope this was clear and uh, you can just come here in the free tier account log in with your root or the im account that you have and you can as well see this and uh, try this and experiment this on your own and you can see this recommendation here so what uh, once you click on recommendations it will show you if suppose you have any recommendations based on your usage so bigger companies who are using like so many instances like hundreds and thousands of instances they will obviously get some recommendation but here if you see we don't have any recommendation because we don't have any savings plans yet or they have some options here also given to us like why we are not seeing any recommendation so currently there are no saving opportunities identified so they don't identify aws hasn't identified any saving opportunities yet or your average on demand spend is below 0 0.10 dollars per hour during a chosen look back period you can still purchase the saving plans by going to the purchase page be sure to review your usage and estimate savings ahead of the purchase so they also tell us the same thing B before actually purchasing this purchase plan actually you need to determine how much of expense that you are having with your current usage of ec2 if you don't have that much of cost that you're going to save by using savings plan i don't think so it makes any sense to go for that but for bigger organizations or startups or companies that are dealing with large number of user set they can actually use this saving plan and actually benefit from this okay so i hope you got the point of how we are going to use it and why actually savings plan can help us or where exactly in which situations savings plan can actually help us so make sure you make the right decisions for your company or the organization that you're working for or the program that you're designing for or the application that you're going to host and come back here and see your recommendations and make your right decisions okay so that's it from the demo side let's move on